when I heard that I'd received this award, I, it was quite overwhelming. It's a great honor, and uh, it's recognition of my work and all of the people who have worked in, in my lab over the years, a lot of very talented and wonderful people. The recognition is, is for our work on the ribosome, uh, and particularly our research showing that the ribosomal RNA was responsible for its activity. There's implications for medicine and for understanding the very origins of life. Throughout my life, I've been interested in everything, including music, playing jazz. I played with people like Pharaoh Sanders, for example. Chet Baker, the Randy Masters group, we were the opening act for the Duke Ellington Orchestra. I've just been interested in interesting things. You know, I've been intrigued by interesting people of all kinds, hanging out with people who were racing cars and building race cars and, and uh, a lot of diverse kinds of people. A guy who I'd met in Oregon knew Ken Kesey and uh, he said, let's go down to Ken Kesey's house. There were Hell's Angels there, there were all kinds of hippies. I think one's surroundings have a tremendous influence um, on your thinking and on your, your feelings about the world. For a scientist, I think it's very good to have a feeling that you're not restricted in your thinking. I have the feeling that our early evidence for the importance of ribosomal RNA might not have emerged if I had gone to MIT or Stanford or Berkeley. Here there was nobody to tell me that you shouldn't do this experiment. That can't possibly be true. The people I knew thought, well, why not? It was very open, and I think that persists to this day. Spending my whole academic career at UCSC has been really a privilege. To be able to work in a place like this where just walking to the library is practically a religious experience. This is a very special place. I started studying the ribosome exactly 50 years ago this month. It's been a long haul, but it's been exciting all the way. Think of the ribosome as the sort of mothership of life. It is an intricate molecular mechanism that sits at the basis of what life is. And that's what we began to confront. This is not very simple stuff but it's deeply important stuff.